this is your from Qubit and in this short video I'm gonna show you some possibilities to work with laser scan data for family creation in Revit using Qubit's VirtuSwift software. You can see here the part of a laser scan uh, of a historic building and if you have such a task to model such a building with Revit as a build model, then you need also modeling uh, kind of uh, Revit content like this uh, window here as a Revit family. You can see here an uh, example of such a family created from laser scan data. This is a very detailed uh, family. Um, this is just a review as well as the floor plan view here and now I want to show you how you can create such a detailed family from laser scan data. The first option is using the VirtuSurf scan view to create 3D model lines, construction points as well as uh, work planes directly inside the family editor. Um, this is shown in the how-to video creating Revit family objects from laser scan data here at Qubit channel. Um, in this video I want to show you the second option, importing point cloud regions directly into the family editor. You can see here the family with the imported point cloud in the exterior view and the point cloud was used to trace over all the elements of this family. Um, you can see it also here in the floor plan and we can identify very well all the profiles of the frames and all the elements of the window and if we have a look to the 3D view of this family we can also use the 3D section box to slice through this point cloud and I will isolate the view to this point cloud so that we can see here uh, you can very well identify all the profiles of this window. Let's have a look to the options we have to bring the point cloud regions into the family in Revit. First of all, we can export this from this VirtuSurf scan view. Uh, and then it's also possible to export this directly from a Revit point cloud uh, loaded in the uh, project environment of Revit using the 3D section box option in the 3D view. And of course, it's also possible to use any other laser scanning software, for example, Autodesk Recap, to export a point cloud region into the PDS um, file format to import this PDS into the family environment. First, I want to show you the option to export point cloud regions uh, out of the scan view from VirtuSurf. So you can see here VirtuSurf with an opened scan of this window. And if I right click on the scan name here, I can choose the export. And in the export, I will select the VR box option to define my area that I want to export. And it's important to have a look to the unit for export. Um, I will choose meters and define a, a file name. and as file type use PTS file. So I'm in the new and save and export. Um, the export will take a few seconds and after you have the exported PTS we can open this in the Revit family editor. The export has finished and I can turn over to Revit. I have opened a new family with a window template 
and in this family I can choose the insert point cloud from the VirtuSurf ribbon and there's my PTS file and in the import dialog I have to choose the right scan unit so from the export side we choose meter so we have to select meter again um, I can adjust the subsampling that means if I uh, don't want to import uh, all points so my point load is really huge I have 1.4 million points and uh, this will limit Revit uh, a little bit so I choose uh, only each second point option and then I have different options for the positioning of this point load origin to origin means that the point load will be imported with the same uh, coordinates I have in my scan project the second option means that the center of the point load uh, region will be placed at the origin point of my family and last not least I have this virtual project coordinate options uh, that I want to explain later uh, more in detail so now I select center to region and start port okay so we have to zoom out a bit to see the point cloud okay here it is so you can see this uh, interesting part of the point cloud is far away from the center point because we have uh, too many uh, diffuse points so we have not only points here at the window so we have also points here uh, that comes from the uh, diffuse part at the windows uh, at the, the glass panes and but let's have a look to the 3d view and you can see here our point cloud region in the family environment and uh, if we change the scale a bit to then we have also a clear view to all these points okay so now we can move the point cloud to the position we need uh, but before we uh, do this I want to show you the second option so I will delete the point cloud If you have imported a recap point cloud into the project environment of Revit, you can also use this point cloud to create this region for the family editor. And we are here in the standard 3D view with a section box. And now I can use the section box to limit my point cloud to the region. I'm interested in. Okay, so this was too much. Okay, and from the right side, so I only want this part here okay now this looks good and this region I can export to PDS with this virtusurf command I will save this also as PDS from Revit project okay let's go back to the family so I choose the insert point cloud uh, option again and my PDS file scan unit meter subsampling every second point and positioning again center to region okay 
And now you can see my uh, point cloud region is exactly at the origin point of the family. And I can select this region, choose rotate to bring the point cloud to better orientation to the uh, family template. Let's have a look to the 3D view and you can see here this is the point cloud in the family. Um, this is quite a good option to bring the point cloud regions uh, into the family environment. Um, now I want to uh, show you the uh, third option to use Virtusurf project coordinates for positioning the point cloud region. You can see here Virtusurf and uh, Revit side by side. So I have uh, opened the scan view here. And first I want to set now the Virtusurf project coordinates. That means I can define the, a new origin point in the scan project for the um, Revit family as well as the orientation of the x-axis uh, of the Revit family project. Um, I use this option, four point option. Um, that means I can uh, click two points for the x axis, um, one point for the uh, y plane, and a four point uh, for the z high. Okay. So before I import my point cloud, I want to create some model lines in the scan view to show you how we can work together with Virtusurf and Revit here. Um, I start this line command and uh, arc here at the top of this window. Okay, I will uh, in Revit switch to the 3D view. So here field arc and then uh, vertical line here, a second one on the other side and one more horizontal line here at the bottom. Okay, in Revit I can use these lines to adjust my opening cut, So, but before I have to adjust the wall, I select the opening cut, edit sketch and with the pick line tool I can select all these model lines that comes from Virtusurf. Okay, and the old opening cut I can delete, finish the sketch, and can also delete uh, the lines that I don't need anymore. So now I have the opening of the window that I have here in the scan view and so yes, now we can insert the point cloud say insert point cloud choose again the PDS comes from the Revit project and a scan unit meter every second point and now uh, I choose by virtues of project coordinates because now I have defined these coordinates in the scan view in Virtusurf and can use this in the Revit family. Okay, and here it is. And you can see now that the point cloud is exactly at the same position um, like my opening I have created with the help of Virtusurf. So we can also switch to the floor plane view. You can see here also the orientation of the point cloud is exactly to the x-axis. Um, what is uh, not correct here, you can see that this is the uh, um, exterior side of the point cloud, but this side is oriented to the interior side um, of my family because I have defined the coordinates from left to right from the on the exterior side of Virtusurf 
and not from right to left but this is not a problem um, I can rotate the point cloud see here and if I go to the extra view now the point load is not exactly on the position but this is also not a problem uh, I will move the point load okay so now I have to point out on the uh, exact position, but um, now I have to adjust the new uh, coordinates from the point cloud to my virtual surf project, and I can do this with the virtual surf command linking point cloud. Um, select point cloud, okay, and now all the, tra uh, the coordinates comes from the uh, virtual surf scan view are placed on the exact position in the point cloud again. So let's demonstrate this on the exterior side here. I create again some vertical lines here at the booleans. and you can see here the lines are exactly at the right position at the point cloud and so this is the best option to work with point clouds in the family environment and with VirtuSurf scan view together okay i hope you have enjoyed this short video and have a look to the qubit um, tv channel for more tutorials and interesting videos about Qubit products.